Show your support by subscribing to this channel. Help us to continue to bring fun and educational material that inspires young readers. Please subscribe. Hi there, reading buddies. Welcome back. Today, we're going to be learning about space, the stars, and our solar system. Our solar system is the sun and all the planets that move around it. Do you know all the planets in our solar system? You don't? That's okay. We can learn together. Today, we're going to be reading There's No Place Like Space, all about our solar system. By Trish Rabbi, illustrated by Aratias Ruiz, read with consent of Random House. Do you have a copy? If you do, get yours and you can read along with us. I'm the cat in the hat, and we're off to have fun. We'll visit the planets, the stars, and the sun. There's no place like space. I'll prove it to you. Your mother will not mind at all if I do. Jump in, here we go. We'll fly up so high. We can dance on the moon and play games in the sky. We'll swing past the stars, and in case you've missed them, You'll soon see the planets in our solar system. There are eight of these planets that circle the sun, and soon you'll be able to name every one. Mercury's closest to sun's burning light. It's hot in the daytime, but freezing at night. On Venus, the weather is always the same. Hot, dry, and windy, with no chance of rain. Today's weather on Venus, really, really hot. Nearly 900 degrees Fahrenheit, windy and dry. Can you guess the next planet? Well, here is a clue. It's my home and home to thing one and thing two. You've been living on it each day since your birth. It's the third from the sun. It's our planet, Earth. It spins all the time, round and round like a top. It turns once every day and never will stop. This question had thing one and thing two in a tizzy. If Earth's always spinning, why don't we feel dizzy? We don't feel the Earth as it spins on its way, because we're spinning right with it, right now, every day. Next here is Mars. It's the color of rust. We sneeze here because it's covered with dust. Travel to Jupiter and you will find it is bigger than all other planets combined. Saturn has rings. It's so light. Who would think? It could float in an ocean and not even sink. A planet can have satellites that surround it. Uranus has lots of these objects around it. There are colors in space. I will show some to you. Neptune, planet 8. It's beautiful blue. We have seen all the planets, now here is a trick, to remember the names and remember them quick. Say, Mallory Valerie Emily Mickles just saved up 999 nickels. The first letter of each of these words is the same as the first letter of each of the planets you name. Now here's a game you can play in the skies. Connect all the stars you can see with your eyes. A star dot to dot. Use your imagination and you'll see big pictures we call constellations. A dog the great bear and Leo the lion, Taurus the bull, and a hunter Orion. 
A star in the sky may look small like a dot, but it's really a big glowing ball and it's hot. And there's one star by far that's our favorite one. We can't live without it. The star called the sun. From the earth it looks big. There's one reason why. It's the closest to earth of the stars in the sky. Be careful and never look right in the sun. Your eyes would get hurt and that would not be fun. How big is the sun we just heard right this minute? A million of our earths could all fit right in it. Oh, look at the time. We must go very soon, but first we must take a quick look at the moon. The moon does not shine in the sky in the night, but like a big mirror reflects the sunlight. Astronauts flew to the moon to explore, a place no one had ever been before. They walked on the moon and then drove all over in a special moon car called a lunar rover. An astronaut studies what's up in the sky. Thing too wants to be one. In fact, so do I. The universe is a mysterious place. We are only just learning what happens in space. So I bought you a present to look in the sky. Just put this telescope up to your eye. Oh dear, I must go fly back to the stars and take things one and two out to dinner on Mars. But there's lots to discover and it might be you who looks up in the sky and finds something that's new. Wow, I sure learned a lot today. Like, there are eight planets in our solar system. I didn't know that. Did you? And the sun is actually a star. Wow. Well, thanks for stopping by, Reading Buddies. And don't forget, like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.